We kick off in Lebanon where authorities have asked Qatar for help to watch the FIFA World Cup. And as tensions continue online, did Qatar Airways really tweet this? On that note, if you regularly travel with cash money and valuables, you may want to stick around. And in sports, another world first for the 2022 FIFA World Cup in Qatar. Hi, it's Ali. This is The Roundup. Here are today's top stories. Lebanon's Prime Minister has asked Qatar to help eager football fans at home gain access to World Cup matches on their TV screens. Beirut is facing one of the most crippling financial and economic crises with inflation at an all-time high in the country. The PM also asked Doha to facilitate entry for Lebanese citizens wishing to enter Qatar to watch the first ever Arab edition of the FIFA World Cup. Now, more on the ongoing tensions between India and the Muslim world. Muslims in Qatar and around the world have come together to demand a boycott of goods from India. This is in response to offensive remarks made about the Prophet Muhammad earlier this week. It also follows a viral boycott Qatar Airways campaign that analysts say was boosted with the deployment of fake bots. And in the midst of the online drama, a fake tweet allegedly posted by Qatar Airways has been exposed as fake. Here in Doha, Qatar Civil Aviation Authority has unveiled a new rule on passengers traveling into the Gulf state. Travelers with cash and valuables must declare the goods to authorities whilst entering or leaving Qatar. This includes any cash on hand in any currency, as well as precious metals or stones that exceed 50,000 riyals. For the entire list of regulations, head over to www.dohanews.co. Finally, FIFA World Cup matches in Qatar could be the tournament's most technologically advanced to date. FIFA is allegedly considering plans to deploy a robotic linesman to keep an eye on the ball. This would make Qatar 2022 the first ever World Cup tournament to include a robot on the ref's team. Is this a good move? Let us know in the comments below. Thank you for joining us. For more of our stories, head over to our website www.dohanews.co. Have a great day.